next would be uh, PyFed, and uh, Remo is going to tell us all about that. Hi, folks. Can you hear me all right? Yes, we can. Great. Uh, so PyFed. Uh, PyFed is a um, Lemmy and Kbin alternative. Hopefully those are familiar platforms to everyone or some people here. Uh, the, these platforms collectively form the Threadverse, which is basically a sort of a, a Reddit clone, a federated Reddit. So with that, let's have a look at the actual website. Okay, I assume that worked. So here's PyFed, similar to Reddit, it it's, has a home feed which is showing all the content from communities that I've subscribed to. Um, here are some recently active communities over here. Now, um, one of the things that I really like about Reddit and which I've really felt was missing from Lemmy was the fact that um, Comments are voted on just like posts are, and that determines kind of the order of, of things in the tree. Um, I'm just going to collapse the stuff I'm not interested in reading too much about. But when people get downvoted enough, they um, start out collapsed. This person here is on negative nine and they're about to be collapsed as well. Um, so there are actually consequences for being downvoted, <laughs> which Lemmy doesn't do. And um, if you get downvoted enough, uh, all your comments get uh, a little exclamation symbol on them. Um, one of the issues with a lot of federated systems is uh, discoverability. Um, and I've tried to help solve this by organizing um, all the communities into uh, hierarchical topics. So I've set up, for example, technology. And within that, there's some posts from all these communities. These are general technology-based communities. But I've got subtopics, so we've got programming, languages, Python. You can see the breadcrumb there. Um, so these are all the Python communities. So rather than having to, um, you know, find these perhaps on different servers and subscribe to them individually, you can just um, browse the topics. Um, YouTube, sorry, not YouTube, <laughs> Yahoo did a very big. Um, you know, started out as a directory like this and they tried to catalog the whole internet. So if they can do that, then I can handle a few hundred uh, communities, I reckon. Um, oh, I was just looking at that. Uh, now posts are normally text-based, but a lot of the time people are posting uh, memes. So let's find some memes. I felt like doing, you know, basing it all off the titles wasn't really cutting it. Uh, so I made a gallery type view where it uses a masonry based layout to show you um, multiple memes at once. Um, but you can also view them sort of full screen and on a mobile, you're swiping, but on a desktop, you uh, you can click like this. Uh, so that's that. I'll just show you another one, which is less trashy. Now I can subscribe to a community by joining it which will put it into my news feed on the home page. Or I could tick the bell thingy, which will put a notification every time a new post is made.
Yay. Hmm. Um, and you can vote on stuff, of course. There is comments on them, just like other posts. Um, now, at this time of year, at this time of the electoral cycle, there's a lot of Trump posts, which I got really tired of. So there's um, stuff to filter them out. There's all the, the blocking stuff you would expect. You can uh, block domains so that you see no posts from that domain. You can block instances. I don't actually have a beef with midwest.social. I'm just testing out the functionality. And you can block people, of course. Thank um, you, uh, Remo. This is about as much time, time as oh we yeah, have. Oh, yeah, that's time already. <laughs>